Hey YouTube, this is Dean Mank, another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Okay, time for the rock. Sunday morning, I left it a little bit later because this is probably going to make some noise. Just get my PPE on. Gloves, glasses, usual gear. Thankfully, being a blacksmith now, I've got all this stuff. Oh, I don't know if I need the full wrap around glasses. I've got my glasses on. That should stop any stuff going in. Okay, got a strike tool and I've got a little chisel. So we'll see how we go. I've got a two pound hammer. It's pretty stable there. I'll give it a tap here. Doesn't seem to be doing much at all. Getting sparks coming off it. Okay, that's not doing anything. Plenty of sparks coming off. I sheared some off there. There's a bit sheared off. Blunting them in the hell out of that tool. I might just use it the way it is because that is not cracking very easily at all. I am certainly getting some good sparks off that. Orange sparks. Yeah, I know. That's not going to crack. I'm hitting it pretty hard. All I'm doing is damaging that tool. I'll have to resurface that. But I'm getting some good sparks off that. I'm going to attack it with a little tool. Okay, all I do is dig a hole in it. I'm going to use it the way it is. That is, um, yeah, it's quite tough. I sheared a bit off, but I sheared that bit off. That came off there. I'm going to use it as it is. Um, I've got a big V in there now. I'll just drive flint, or oh, I've got some, um, I've got some quartzite here, uh, it's not a really nice place, I've got a whole bucket of quartzite, oh, two buckets of quartzite there, now, I can see red 
I can see red sparks of coming off that now. I thought I saw some sparks coming off that. I can smell it. This is going to be difficult. It's so heavy to hold it up. I might get Andrew. I might go over Andrew's place. We've got bigger hammers and give it a bigger tap with a bigger hammer over there. It's only two pounds. I've only got up to four pounders here. I, do. I think I'll go up to a seven pound and give it a tap, see if I can break it in half over at his place because at the moment oh, wait, oh, I was trying to keep that oh there it is anyway this is a bit too early in the morning to be doing this sort of strenuous exercise but I did shear a bit off that's what it looks like inside Marsite, Marsarite um, just fool's gold that's what it looks like inside there so cool it's a cool rock once you get inside it there it is that's where it come off ugly on the outside terrible looking rock on the outside but um actually I think I might have bent that too it's an old tool but I did certainly mash that up I've got a nice channel there I can drive down there but as you can see I've got two buckets of quartzite there and I've got buckets and buckets of it up home, ah, upstairs. Um, I'm downstairs at the moment. Look at that. Sorry for the poor camera. Rack. That is from last night. There's still coals in it. I was going to sift that for ash, but that is still got coals from last night. I could certainly get a fire going from there last night. Anyway, I'm going to let that go until this afternoon before I sift it to get ash um, and yeah, go from there. But anyway, that's the marsite that I didn't get done. Um, yeah, a bit disappointing. But I'll go over to Andrews, as I said, and use a bigger hammer, see if I can break it in half because um, four kilo lump I think is too big to hold up although I don't know I'll talk to Andrew he's um he's a lot more knowledgeable about this sort of stuff than I am and um, he might have some ideas because he's an ideas man and um, although I might just be able to work on that I'm work on this here because you need a you need a, a nice area like that to be able to drive sparks drive a, a wedge a blunt wedge of flint or quartzite through there to get the sparks but I was getting some nice bright orange sparks off the steel so it's interesting because it must be shearing steel off If you drive the sparks off the marsite, they must be the dull red ones coming off the marsite, but the steel ones coming off a bright orange. That's usually, this stuff here is um, oh, 4140 maybe. Um, so I don't know how much carbon that's got in it, but it's a tool steel. You wouldn't think it'd have more than 0.6% carbon in it, so, yeah. Anyway, wanted to show you that. Um, yeah, sorry about the 
wiggly camera work, but I wanted to move around a little bit and whatnot. I said I was going to um, show trying to crack this. I thought I would crack it. I thought it would be reasonably soft, um, but a four kilo lump of this stuff is tougher than what my strike tool is. Anyway, thanks for watching.